Hey guys, this is Cooking with Kurt, and today I'm going to show you how to make a red ribbon style Ube Brazo de Mercedes. This is a traditional Filipino soft baked meringue with an ube filling rolled into the middle. To start, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then take 10 fresh eggs as fresh eggs whip better. And divide the egg yolks and egg whites into separate bowls. Let the egg whites sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes. Then, in a double boiler over low heat, add the 10 egg yolks, 7 ounces or half a can of sweetened condensed milk, 1 cup of whole milk, 1 cup of ube halaya, 1 tablespoon of ube extract, and 4 tablespoons of butter. Mix this together. Add in 2 or 3 drops of purple food coloring to give it a deeper purple color. While constantly whisking, let this cook on low heat for 30 to 40 minutes until you get the consistency of a spreadable paste. Like this. Remove it from the heat and let it cool to room temperature. While the ube filling is cooling, we're going to work on the meringue. Take a half sheet pan, which is 13 by 18 inches, and line it with an oversized piece of parchment paper so that the parchment paper folds up all four sides of the pan with the edges creased so it makes a sharp rectangle. Set this aside. Then take a big stainless steel or glass mixing bowl. Make sure that your mixing bowl and your beaters are completely dry and clean as water and oil residue can prevent the egg whites from expanding properly. Add in the 10 egg whites and beat them for about one minute till they become thick and foamy. Then add in one teaspoon of cream of tartar and continue beating for another one minute or so. Then slowly start adding in 3 4 cups of granulated sugar. Make sure you add the sugar very slowly, beating in the sugar between small pores to make sure the egg whites don't lose volume. Then add in 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Continue beating the egg whites till they become smooth, glossy, and make soft peaks like this. Make sure not to overbeat the egg whites. We stop beating this meringue for Brazo de Mercedes at the soft peak stage, compared to, for example, a pavlova where we beat the meringue till it forms stiff peaks. Now we're gonna take a little bit of the meringue and dab it on all four corners at the bottom of the parchment paper lining our sheet pan to prevent the parchment paper from sliding around. Then scoop the meringue onto the prepared sheet pan. Using a spatula, spread the meringue evenly, flattening it out as much as possible. We're going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes or until the meringue is set and the top has turned golden brown. Like this. Let it cool in the pan to room temperature. When the meringue has cooled, take a fine mesh sieve and dust the top of the meringue with confectioner's sugar. Place a large piece of parchment paper on top, big enough to cover the meringue, and gently invert the meringue onto the parchment paper and let it sit on the counter. Remove the sheet pan and peel off the parchment paper on top. Then, spoon the ube filling on top of the meringue, spreading it evenly and creating a layer of ube about 1 4th inches thick. Leave about an inch at the end of one of the short 13 inch sides without any filling. Starting on the opposite end, carefully roll the meringue along the short 13 inch side into a log. Then roll the whole log into the parchment paper. Tie it up with twine at three points to prevent it from unrolling and leave this in the fridge for about two hours for the meringue and the ube filling to set and for the roll to hold its shape. Transfer the roll to a serving dish. Before serving, cut the two ends to create neat ends to the roll. And there you have it, our red ribbon style ube brazo de Mercedes. Mmm, I'm so up. It has a light and airy outer meringue and a rich filling that's bursting with ube flavor. 
Please let me know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this Ube Brazo de Mercedes. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. Maraming salamat!